Okay, howdy neighbors. Well, Lori and I are now in another Walmart parking lot. This one is in Winslow, Arizona. I've already gotten to watch a young lady walking around and falling down drunk just a few minutes ago. The uh, van, I don't know, I couldn't get it to, to start back up. It acted like it vapor locked on me. And even after it cooled down, it still won't start. And the tow truck driver, I should have been thinking a little harder, but he dropped me right here, which is this side of the van facing the hottest part of the day. And all the work that I have to do on the motor involves right there in the sun. And it's like 93 or 94 out right now. So, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what's going on. It was doing well, but then we hit the Williams Hill and I got about, I would say, a third of the way up. And it, even though I backed out of it down to 45 and was... Uh, downshifted into second it started bucking and acting like it wasn't getting fuel and then it shut off it was definitely warm but it, I've never lost any fluid the fan worked the fan cooled the radiator back down it took about half an hour sitting there and the engine was cooled down to where when I shot it with my thermometer I think the, mo the block was in the 200 range and the radiator was in the 85 degree range and it still wouldn't start uh, I shot the uh, carburetor itself and it was showing about a hundred and I, I don't know I just don't know and until I tear into it I still won't know so I put in a call to a local mechanic. See, uh, he's out on a test drive. And I'm gonna see what his thoughts are and uh, take it from there. Extremely frustrating, but as Lori says, it's all an adventure. I just, I'm getting tired of this. <laughs> Uh, I'm just getting too old. I don't want to, but I may have to sell the old sled. And get myself something better. I don't know how I'm going to be able to afford that, but... If I had an option, I would put a diesel motor in that th in this van. <laughs> oh, God. In one of these uh, videos, I'm going to have to respond to all of your questions like those of you that continuously ask me if I have a fan on it and there's those that if ask if I have an electric fan on it then there's those that ask if I have the fan wired right it's a non-stop string of um, yeah the thermostat's in right it's all brand new hoses. I mean, one of my friends even asked me if I had a radiator in it. I asked, I told him, I said, you don't watch my videos, do ya? He says, well, I don't pay attention all the time. Because he asked me if I had an electric uh, fan on it. And I said, well, I only have like three or four videos that talk about it and show it. <laughs> what can you say? Life in the fast lane. Boy, this is a busy place for a small town, supposedly, but... And Lori went inside, and um, as we turn the corner and look... Yeah, there's a line of people over there. A big line of people. And I decided I wasn't going to go wait in line. So... And you definitely have to be wearing your masks when you go in there. Which is no problem. I wear mine whenever I go in any place now. Just because. 
but we got a Verizon store right here Dollar General over there O'Reilly Auto Parts right there Pizza Hut I think there's another auto parts store right there and there's a uh, Best Western Hotel across the highway over there I don't see Lori in the line so she must have made it in already Well, <laughs> uh, life in the fast lane, eh, everybody? Oh, yeah, and it's only like 93 here right now. Later.